video we're going to have a look at one of my most used jig strumming patterns. So the rhythm that you heard at the start of the video is actually two jig strumming patterns that are normally taught separately, but making these videos on the channel in the last month or so has made me realise that I'm actually combining these two strumming patterns together quite often when I'm playing. So this is the first pattern, it's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So we're gonna take a G chord just now, we're gonna play that pattern very slowly and then build it up to tempo before we have a look at the next section of the strumming pattern. So the second half of this pattern doesn't require any double down strums, it's just straight down, up, down, up strumming. And we're going to be emphasising the first and the second down strum, so it's going to sound like this. So we're going to take a G chord again and we're going to play that rhythm. We're going to start off slow and we're going to build it up to a similar tempo to what I was playing in the beginning of the video. Okay, so now we're going to try the whole strumming pattern. We're going to play two bars of the first pattern we learned, two bars of the second. We're going to just play a G chord, but we're going to play it at a sort of medium tempo. Okay, so it's important to note that there's no set rules for how you need to play any of these strumming patterns. So if you want to flip those patterns around and do two bars of the second pattern we learned first and then into two bars of the first pattern we learned, that's totally fine. You can even do things where you might take, say, half of a bar of the first pattern, then play it into the second pattern. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.